Hey folks, Adam here. Gonna do a little uh, Rygar game review tonight. I played through this. Uh, I use the emulator, but uh, I was able to beat this game in under an hour, uh, and that's from beginning to end, because there's no continue or password or anything. Um, here's the, uh, the uh, screen, and those are the five items you have to collect, along with the flute and the special drink you can get once you've gotten the coat of arms. Uh, here's where you're trying to get to, the end of the game, uh, the, uh, special, uh, tower. Uh, this map here, uh, is the main map. It kind of connects you to almost, uh, every, uh, area that you need to go to. It's kind of the through map, um, for most of the levels. And, um, this is the first thing you find. Uh, it's the grappling hook. You need it to pretty much get anywhere in the in the game that uh, has these side-scrolling parts. You can see we're starting off here, we just have that and our, our tone and last there are very low. Uh, those actually you increase by fighting enemies and it'll uh, award you extra life tanks and uh, things like that. Uh, I sped it up here a little bit so we could uh, move on to uh, the next uh, area we need to get to without uh, trimming it uh, too badly, but um, I was going to stick the whole thing on here, but I didn't want to do 58 minutes of commentary. Uh, so, uh, from where you get the grappling hook, you have to truck around here. Now, you do have to do a little bit of grinding on this, but it makes the game a hell of a lot easier than, um, than just uh, trying to go through it directly. Uh, there's a dude, he fills up your life. This has some Zelda earmarks, but they really tried to do some overhead as well as some uh, side-scrolling stuff. And uh, this was one of my favorites from the very beginning, the first time I played it. Uh, this area here is an area that you'll come to uh, about midway through the game, but it has some of the harder enemies uh, of the game in this area. Uh, these flying uh, kind of... Uh, bat bird things with the unicorn horn and this guy up here is one of the toughest guys in the game these robot things and he fires that uh, charge at you and it pretty much takes about like three or four of your life circles but um, when you kill these guys it gives you a lot of tone and it gives you a lot of the last which uh, makes your character stronger so it takes less hits to kill your enemies and uh, the last uh, gives you more tanks. Now I have four, five tanks now. I tried to kind of uh, speed through this, but what you basically do is go in and out of this room right here and keep killing this robot uh, and until you feel uh, comfortable with the level. I, I usually get it to where I can kill him uh, before he fires his shot. Not in one hit, but if you want to wait until it takes one hit to kill him, it's going to take probably uh, 20 or 30 minutes. Um, you can kind of cheat and use like an NES Max or something for some turbo controller. Uh, I usually just wait until um, I'm able to kill most of the smaller enemies like these guys in one hit. And then I go ahead and continue. As a matter of fact, I think when I beat the game, I still didn't have all of my life tanks. You can get two full rows, so you have 12 of them. But I, um, that takes a while. And really, um, for me, I don't need uh, to wait around to do that. So anyway, you, you can't continue on from there because you need the crossbow. It's something you're going to pick up here in a minute. Uh, and you need the pulley so you can go across the uh, the rope after you put the uh, fire the crossbow rope across. Here we are doing a little bit of this uh, double speed camera. I don't even know how this shit's going to come <laughs> come out uh, when we're doing the gameplay. But here's uh, Magic Man filling your life up again. Um, we're headed to get the uh, pulley. That's the uh, second th uh, second thing you get next to the grappling hook, but the first uh, enemy, uh, like, Indora boss you have to fight, uh, and the god will give you the pulley, and, and then you basically have to go get the crossbow. Once you get the crossbow and the pulley, you can kind of do things in a little separate order. 
this area right here is is where the tower is if you want to go find it you have to climb up a ways but uh, if you continue on to the right all the way and go through that door you end up in this forest and um, there's a boss at the end of this area and uh, so we're trucking along do 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 I'm not showing you everything because I, if you want to be able to play uh, the game and enjoy it I didn't think you'd want to see every single thing that's why I'm not posting the straight game run and plus I don't even think any of you would sit and watch an hour run on Rygar anyway here you, you employ the the glitch trick that a lot of Nintendo games have where if an enemy's toward the side of the screen you can make him disappear if you kind of jog it back and forth this is a little bit of a jump if you miss it um, but you know I wasn't sweating it uh, here's the end boss and watch how many hits it takes folks I think it was three <laughs> three hits that's all it took and I lost one now if you don't power your guy up like I did sit and grind for I mean literally it was like 10 10 or 15 minutes max um, it might be harder to beat those guys but then all you're gonna have to do is sit and grind in another area to try to power your guy up enough to beat him or hope you get lucky enough to get by him with you know minimal amount of life so um, here we are on to the uh, next area this, this will be where we get the crossbow uh, the music on this game is just awesome, though. I, I love most all of the music. There's one area where the music's a little iffy, um, and we'll get to it. But uh, other than that one stage, I think the music on all the other stages is just awesome on this game. And it's way different than the arcade. I mean, the arcade game uh, doesn't really hold a candle to this game, in my opinion. Um we did the uh, special attack there. I don't know if you saw it where you can... Uh, yeah, see, it's still engaged. The um, If you pick up these stars, I, I don't think I went over it, but it it's, it's, uh, creates these white uh, bars uh, under your tone and last on your status screen. We'll probably see it here again in a minute. And um, you can do three different things. They're, they're not really magic, but... Uh, you can do a power up, which makes your uh, your uh, shield weapon uh, a little stronger. It's a, it basically makes it a little longer, and it, it seems to retract and fire quicker a little bit. But it, it's really not more powerful. Uh, here's this boss: one hit, two hits, three. <laughs> See, so once you once he's powered up, he's kind of like a badass. That's why I didn't want to show you how to go through the the whole game. Because I mean, really, if you want to have fun with it, uh, part of the fun is is finding the areas on your own and stuff. And if if this gameplay doesn't do it for you, and you really want to see every single little thing, I'm sure there's uh, either some other gameplays or uh, there's maps you can download and stuff. I know the Nintendo Power Players Guide had some pretty detailed maps even on the final castle of this game uh, in it so this area has one of the harder bosses at the end I, I think he's almost harder than the end boss of the game um, but here you have to use the grapple the the crossbow and the um, pulley <laughs> and I think here you pick up the uh, the armor which I don't really know if the armor helps you like makes it so you take less hits see there I did it uh, you, you use this thing called attack and a sail basically it's like a lightning attack it kind of kills everything on the screen or at least impacts or hurts everything on the screen uh, this guy hit me once you grapple up there you hit him again and uh, he had a sound of two, but uh, this this run that I did on this game, I like I said, I beat it in under an hour. I probably goofed around a little bit. I could probably tighten it up. I bet I could beat this game in about 45 minutes if I was hauling ass and I had a practice run and pretty much knew exactly where I was headed. Um, this area is kind of where you start the game and come over and go into that main map. You have to revisit this area to uh, get the flute the pegasus flute 
which you use to uh, open the door to the end level. Um, there's a there's some stars, and as you can see, I didn't have enough to use the attack and the sail thing. If you if you're full on the stars, I think it's eight bars you can fill your life up, like all the way up. So that's kind of a good thing to have sometimes. Uh, the power up, you have to reset it. Like if you die, every single time you die, you have to re-engage the power up for your uh, weapon to be a little bit more uh, st strengthened in a way. Um, there's like a big snail dude. I love the music in this area too, but... The enemies really just stand no real chance. And like I said, I, I did earn one more life circle up there, but, you know, I really, you know, and, and most of them only take one away when they hit you. And that might be because you're powered up too, or you have that armor now, I don't really know. This guy's like two hits and you're done, or three. Go in there and get the flute. Go on in there. There's the flute. Play this instrument atop the Tower of Lyle to enter the final level. Um, I think we're going to get the coat of arms and then we are pretty much done. Uh, that was a pretty harsh cut. I might correct that <laughs> before I... Uh, turn this video over. There's a, there's this door out there. And it's just a glitch thing, and it's uh, it's been out there, always been out there on, you know, even on the emulator version and everything. It's, it's always there. There's no way to get to it. And there's probably nothing in there anyway. Now, the music on this level, I just I really don't care for. It's just like this dun, 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 dun. It's, it's just kind of annoying, but here's this uh, big, powerful dude. Two, three, four, five. Most of them don't take more than about five hits. Oh, there's the armor. I must have got the, uh, the, um, whatchamahoos. Coat of arms or whatever. Uh, there's this one guy that'll keep asking you, do you have the coat of arms? Once you get the coat of arms, he gives you that potion, uh, that allows you to, uh, refill your life. And actually, they're nice enough to put one of those guys in, inside the last level, so um, you can get a potion before you go fight the end guy. It's pretty nice. I usually like to have my stars filled up and um, that potion, but he's really, yeah, if you'd never fought him before, you know, but... I don't know. I, I've, I've beaten this game so many times. I remember beating it at like 2 in the morning, you know, just sitting in front of the TV when I was, you know, 13 or 14 years old for the first time, you know. Everybody else had went to bed pretty much. It was like a weekend. And uh, I was uh, playing on a black and white TV and pretty much got up and went out to our one color TV we had in the house and... Uh, hooked up the Nintendo and went to town and beat this game, so, uh, yeah, I met the five indoors, I've got all their shit, we're ready to roll, see, I'm still one circle short of having full, uh, health, these guys aren't helping either, this stupid little potbelly pig thing, alright, blow the flute, Awesome. And there's the door. The other door disappears for some reason. And then you go up and you're uh, on the last level. And the music on this level is just a, it's very ominous, very bad. You know, it just sounds foreboding and like you're just, you know, everything is just huge. The whole level's huge. I mean, look how many screens you have to run over you know and, and back just to even get to the entrance and if you haven't played the PlayStation 2 uh, version of Rygar and you're a Rygar fan you definitely need to play the PlayStation 2 version 
Um, it was one of the first games that I remember playing that actually kind of gave me vertigo pretty bad because there's a sky level where you're using the pulley crossbow thing and you're uh, going from platform to platform and I, I'm kind of scared of heights and it did give me vertigo and that's rare for a game to you know do that to me so most of the guys in here they're, you're, it's not worth fighting them you're just wasting time if you fight them you might as well just run by them our goal is to get to the guy that's gonna give us a give us the potion because not only does he give you the potion he fills your life back up so basically you, you know I mean I don't know if this makes me a pussy because I didn't really fight any of the guys in here. It's just the best way to do it. I mean, otherwise you're just wasting your life. Um, and there's the guy who gives you the potion. Uh, fighting these guys. And they are, they take a few hits. I mean, it, it, they're not, they're not punks, but I mean, it's just as easy to just, you know, kind of run by them. And I just learned that from many times of playing it. It's just easier just to kind of run by them. And there's not even a lot of enemies on this final level. You just kind of kind of know your way through it. And I've just beat it so many times that I just know the exact way to go. <laughs> Otherwise, you kind of have to kind of hunt around in here and stuff and figure out where you need to go and go the wrong way and you know we're getting close I lost four health circles so far I think I fill it up before I go in we'll find out I think I fill him up before I go in with either the stars or the potion and then I might have to use it one more time those guys only took like one hit I love when they disappear to like that was a Nintendo staple where everything would flicker or guys would disappear uh, when there's too many things on the screen. I just love Nintendo though. Here, this is the end, end boss. We're gonna go ahead and take it to the recover. Oh, we went attacking a sail. We said, screw it, we can beat this bastard without even filling up our health. Here he is. I just hit him with the lightning. Go ahead and fill up at three circles. See if he's taking three down a whack. Ta-da! Just keep jumping at him and swinging. Just... There's nothing to hide behind or any real way. And you don't have a projectile weapon, so you got to get right up on him. So, I mean, there's really nothing more you can do. Here's the classy ending. It almost looks like Noah's Ark here. We got the dove and the rainbow and the water, you know, receding from the... I know it's not Noah's Ark, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. The door of peace was open, and peace did again come to our ghoul. People regained their smiling faces. The warrior who finished his fight returned to Argus. The warrior of Argus, you are a true hero. And that's it. That's the end of the game. I don't even think there's any credits. And uh, that's basically it. Uh, I love this game, and I do recommend the uh, PlayStation 2 version wholeheartedly. If you're a Rygar fan, so I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next video.